our neck of the woods. We're not going to see anything severe. Some rain, but nothing really bad like that. Rain and windy. I mean, uh, you know, if you've been out and about this afternoon, you probably noticed the winds picking up in Springfield yeah. and areas north of the interstate. And, and that's what we're going to find overnight tonight. Those winds gradually increasing. And we're looking at a windy and wet day on Tuesday. Uh, here's what's going on with that storm right now. Positioned in the southwest, but already feeling impacts here in the middle of the country as moisture is drawn north across Oklahoma and Kansas. We've got showers which have broken out. These are going to pivot across our area later on tonight. So we're going to see some wet weather before sunrise. In fact, I think as soon as, say, early in the morning, by, say, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the morning, we should find rain beginning to spread into areas like Stockton and Cassville, down through Eureka Springs and Berryville in Arkansas. That storm centered back here will move into the middle of the country on Tuesday. This is going to be a very very potent storm system and as it winds up it will generate stronger and stronger winds and of course those stronger winds are coming in out of the southeast and south drawing warmth and moisture north that leads to instability and then with the wind energy that leads to a risk of severe weather at least to the south uh, looks like that severe weather risk will will stay confined just south of our area because of the limited instability locally but further south into southern Arkansas and Louisiana, western Mississippi and eastern Texas uh, expecting an outbreak of severe weather, including the risk of tornadoes. Now locally, we will find strong winds, uh, especially during the morning through early afternoon west of Highway 65, and then those winds will ease throughout the rest of the afternoon east of Highway 65. But before then, gusts of 35 to 45 miles per hour will be possible uh, and we could find stronger gusts and some of the heavier shower or isolated thunderstorm activity that will occur with this band associated with the actual frontal boundary itself. Now, overnight tonight, we're getting showers well ahead of that. Uh, again, showers right now are currently located in Kansas and Oklahoma. I think by midnight tonight, they'll probably be positioned here along I-49 and they'll continue to uh, pivot off to the east and northeast. We'll see additional waves of showers moving in through sunrise on Tuesday. So I, I have every expectation for many of us north of the interstate and west of Highway 63 to have wet roads, if not dealing with showers. Also, along with windy conditions, it'll make you have to keep both hands on the wheel. The steady, heavier rains, though, those come in later in the morning. In fact, it looks like by about lunchtime, that uh, band of rain will be oriented along Highway 65. It will continue to shift east and will be positioned over Highway 63 by mid-afternoon. And then by late afternoon, it's shifting out of the area. But there'll still be a lot of lingering shower activity east of Highway 65 into the late afternoon hours. That rain then moves out for the most part. There'll still be a few showers around, I think, into the evening. And we'll see skies try to clear out. We're not quite done with the rain there, though. It looks like we'll see another round of showers spread from southwest to northeast across north central Arkansas and into southeast Missouri. So places like maybe Mountain Home up to West Plains and Eminence and east will have a shot at some additional rain on Wednesday. It won't last long, won't amount to much, but some additional rain. Meanwhile, further west and northwest, we should have a decent day. At least we'll actually have some sunshine, something we have not seen since Friday of last week. In terms of rain totals, uh, we're looking at a good soaking, another good soaking across the area. And the rain will be locally heavy with this band as it moves through. Totals generally of three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half common here south of the interstate and east of Highway 65. And there could be some localized areas of uh, street flooding at the very least. Areas to the west and northwest amounts not quite as heavy, but we're still looking at a quarter to three quarters of an inch. Uh, temperatures tonight holding steady, then slowly rising. Looks like highs tomorrow in the mid to upper 50s. Again, windy conditions, especially during the morning hours. 37 tomorrow night and a chillier day on Wednesday, but we really don't deal with the colder weather until later this week. Highs in the upper 30s Thursday, mid 30s on Friday, and the cold will continue into the weekend. Mike? Quite a change. All right, thank you, Jamie. We'll be ready for that. Still ahead here at 9,